All right, now that the new dive coaster is complete, all I need to do now is put in some pots and make it available to guests, and then I can start putting in some scenery. Starting with the station. I'm probably gonna need to put in a fair share of pots if I'm gonna connect it to Tornado and the nearest train station. Including a new bridge as well, <laughs> but we'll worry about that in a moment. First we gotta build the queue line, and I think I might build it going over the station platform. I kinda like doing that in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Alright, which one do we want to use? Um, hmm, I think the dark wooden one looks pretty good. Hmm. Alright, I like that already. Now let's see, how high do I need to make it to get over the station platform? I think I can get away with just two blocks high, but then it would probably look a little claustrophobic. So I think I'm gonna go with three blocks high. Mm-hmm, alright, going up. Uh, no, that's not the incline I want. I wanted the stairs, uh... Uh, ah, oh god, I'm bad at memorizing stuff in this game. Here we go. Oh, right, I forgot to delete the ramp first. Of course. God damn it, is, is there a shortcut for deleting stuff in this game that I've forgotten about? Eh, whatever. Let's just build those stairs. I think they'd look good with this build, because it's probably going to be a pretty big building. Maybe on par with the haunted house building, even. Which, if I recall correctly, is the most exciting attraction in the park at the moment. Yeah, more than Eagle Eye and the Fireball Ride. The latter of which I finally named. But we'll get to that later. Right now the focus is making this coaster available to guests. Ah, this connection here is really annoying. Hang on, uh, nah. Way too much effort for One Piece. Total waste of time. Alright then, um... No, where are we? There we go. Alright, I'll just finish this up, and... I think I'll make a roomy enter-exit area. that will be pretty nice. Alright, that looks good. All I need to do now is connect it with the rest of the park. That'll be fun. In fact, I'm probably gonna skip half of it. Eh, that building was always better in Roller Coaster Tycoon. You know, you didn't have to run from place to place. That's like, probably the only true drawback to this game, really. Anyway, people can now ride the dive coaster, but I'm obviously not going to stop there with the paths. Looks like I'm going to be building another wooden bridge over Nest Bend. Well, sort of. Don't worry, I won't be building a big-ass building for it. This bridge will have a more traditional design, but we'll get to scenerizing it later. The station for the dive coaster is the focus right now. I think that's a good spot. Yeah, we'll go with that. Did I ever mention how much I love the new stair pieces? Because they look awesome! I wonder what this game will bring next in an update that I like. Let's hope I can find the right path piece here. No, not cues. Um, oh, there we go. That wasn't so hard. I think I'm getting good at this. Alright, the bridge is done. Just need to connect everything else, and then we can start scenerizing the station. Which should be right about... Now, with that done, the new coaster is now open. So, oh, hang on, it's still testing. Uh, no, I don't want to do any more paths. Um, actually, maybe we don't need to open it just yet, because there's no guests in sight at the moment. Yeah, the new pathways are still looking quite empty. It's probably going to be a good couple minutes before the ride gets its first guests. You know what? Let's open it anyway. Ah, the excitement rating's gone up a bit, that's good. Almost everything in Roller Coaster Tycoon works. I'm not sure how much stuff in this game affects the excitement rating, but I'm sure it's a lot of stuff. And speaking of which, it's time to get building. This is gonna be a pretty big build. And I'm looking forward to it.
can stay right here we will play until somehow you can find a slightly different frame of mind right here in my arms away from all harm you'll be safe from all the friends although i know you don't care Yeah, that's pretty good as it is. Though I might cut back the train exit a little. Maybe. The building isn't quite finished yet, if you've been paying attention. I'll definitely add more stuff to it when I continue decorating the area around the coaster. Yeah, that area definitely looks empty. Let's take a look at the ratings. Oh, it's gone up. That's good. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's not finished by the lack of roof trims. Speaking of which, I finally got the Disabled Collisions Game Pass. So I'm going to show you some stuff I've done off camera. Particularly down at the fireball on the Big S Bridge. First thing you're going to notice, this bridge, it's now patched, which wasn't possible before. And here's the fireball ride building. It's now got full trims on the roofs, which is great. And the ride is now called the Executor. Moving on to this building, also has full trims. And the ceiling pieces underneath are now wood, just like the other bridge. And can I get out this way? No, I can't. But yeah, the Disable Collisions Pass allows you to do some pretty neat stuff that's normally impossible. And hello, random piece of trash, I'm afraid you must go. Face the wrath of my splintered face. God, I love the cleaning animation in this game. Never gets old. 
Hmm, area for Warwind still needs filling. I'll get to that eventually. Alright, so there's still a fair bit of scenerizing to do around the coaster, particularly around the tracks. In fact, I'm probably gonna begin the next episode with a time lapse. I reckon it's gonna be fun because I think I know what I want to name the coaster and how to theme it. So stay tuned for more building and in the meantime, Baneworth out.